Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Tanya and this is Creations with Tanya. So today we are moving on with the Socialites Quilt Along by FatQuarterShop.com and you can find the PDFs in their actually at their website and you can download it for free and join along with me in doing these quilt along tutorials. We are on number nine, Gracious Block, and it was designed by Vanessa Christensen. Let's get started. I have cut out all my background fabric and my printed fabric. And what you'll need is, we are doing six inch, you'll need two four inch squares of the background, and you'll need four two and a half inch squares as well as for one and a half inch squares. So I've labeled them A, B, and C as it's shown here. Directions. For the printed fabric, it's the same. So for D, I did two four and a half inch squares, and I did four two and a half inch squares, and four one and a half inch squares in the printed fabric. I just wanna wish everyone a happy Canada Day for all my fellow Canadians. And I know that July 4th is also coming up for anyone who lives in the US. And I just wanna say happy 4th of July to you as well. All right, so let's get started. For the first step, we are going to take fabric A, the background color, I'm going to move these aside, and fabric D in the printed fabric of your, and you're going to take the four inch squares, and what you're going to do is you are going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner with this handy dandy little quarter inch seam ruler I have and then you're just gonna draw a line from that center line you just drew quarter inch seam on each side and you're gonna put these right sides together and you are going to sew along the outer line you drew there and there and once you're done that I have done one already you're gonna cut in that middle line so I'm just gonna get my ruler here we go and we are going to cut it to make two half square triangles just gonna make sure it's up there and there we go so you're gonna do that for those two pieces of the four inch squares you cut in the background color and the printed fabric. And then it should make four. And once you're done that, we will move on to the next step. All right, so I've made my four half square triangles right here, as you can see. And the next step is I'm going to place my block like this. It says to take fabric E and B and you are going to draw a line from corner to corner um, and then you are going to place it in the corner on top of the background fabric color for, of your half square triangle. And then you're just gonna sew along this line and then cut a quarter inch seam from the line you've sewn. You will need to do four of these. So I have my four, so I'm just going to put all of my fabric E on top of that background triangle and Sew them all, chain piece them, and then I'm going to cut my quarter inch seam and then I'm going to, don't forget, to also make sure that your seams are ironed open 
and I will be right back. I've sewn all of fabric E to the background triangle on my half square triangle and as you can see right here so I'm just gonna cut quarter inch from that sewn line I've done and then I'm just gonna iron that back and then iron it open and you should have four pieces that look like this so once that's done you're gonna take background fabric B and then you're gonna do the exact same thing as you did with the printed E fabric and you're gonna draw a diagonal line like this and put it right sides together and sew along that line and once you've done that then you will have a piece like this and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna cut quarter inch from that seam that you just sewed just like that and iron it open and you will get a piece that looks like this and then once you have all four pieces like this, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I have all of my four pieces with those fabrics sewn to the corners. And now we are going to do the same thing with fabric, background fabric C and printed fabric F. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on all four of these pieces of fabric, your one and a half inch squares, and do the exact same thing you just did with the two and a half inch squares. So I'm just gonna put this on all of my background colors. So cut a quarter inch seam and then I'm gonna iron it open. So make sure that all your seams are nice and ironed open because it's getting a little bulky. <laughs> and then once that's done, I am going to take the background fabric C and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line like that and then I'm gonna put it on this corner and I'm going to sew that line and then cut it off. I will be back with those all sewn together and we will then lay out the blocks, the four blocks, to make the finished quilt block. All right, so I have sewn my fabrics, my background fabric and my printed fabric to the corners and now I'm just going to cut a quarter inch from that sewn line and then so you're going to do the this for all of your four blocks and then you are going to iron them open and they should look like this just like that. Once you have all four, we're gonna lay out the block. I'm just going to finish um, ironing open that one block I just did. And when I return, we will lay the blocks out. And as you can see, I've ironed open my seams. All right, be right back guys. I have laid out my blocks in the pattern that they call for and it looks like they alternate so you have a background triangle here and a printed fabric here as well as they're the opposites in the center so you do the pattern fabric here and background here pattern fabric and background and so I'm just going to put these 
right sides together, do a quarter inch seam for the top and the bottom row. And once I'm done, I'll come back and we, I'll show you that and then sew the blocks together. So I have the top row and the bottom row done here. And now I'm just gonna place these right sides together. Also try, if you can, uh, pin where they intersect in the seam so at least you can try and get your points lined up a little but you know what there's a lot of lines here and in intersections so if you get some of them to line up good for you all right I'll be right back all right guys so here we have the finished block it should measure roughly six and a half inches by six and a half inches. What a cute, fun block. I really actually enjoy doing this. I've never done one before, so first time for everything, right? Next week, we are going to be doing block number 10, Sincere Block, designed by April Rosenthal. And you, it looks like you'll need only a couple of pieces of background fabric and uh, one printed fabric. I'm doing the six inch block, so I will be cutting out one two and a half inch square in background fabric, as well as eight two inch squares. And in the printed fabric, I will be cutting out eight two and a half inch squares. All right, I want to wish you all a wonderful, happy Canada Day. And to all my U.S. friends and family, I'm wishing you a happy 4th of July as well. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. So please join me then. And have a wonderful quilt day. Bye.